Welcome to Inside Liverpool. Liverpool sold Sadio Mane and replaced him with Darwin Nunes because they were not prepared to meet his demands to become the club's top earner to send a clear message to Mohamed Salah in his contract talks with the Reds. Now the dust has settled on Sadio Mane's exit from Liverpool and Darwin Nunes' arrival, thoughts turn to what it means for the club's procreated contract talks with Mohamed Salah. There is a clear message to be drawn from Liverpool's handling of Mane's contract demands for Salah and his talks over a new deal. Like Salah, Mane had a year left on his Anfield deal and reportedly wanted closer to £400,000 a week to sign fresh terms. His argument was that as one of the Premier League's best players, he should be paid the same as his peers like Kevin De Bruyne and Cristiano Ronaldo. But his case ignored Liverpool's carefully managed wage structure and the club's top earners is Virgil van Dijk on around £220,000 a week. Liverpool do not have a sovereign wealth fund from some Middle Eastern country to backroll them and they have always been careful not to spend beyond their limits. They could not approve to pay money for £100,000 a week even if they want it, and the same is true of Salah. Like Mane, Salah's team make the case that he should receive a new deal that reflects his status as one of the world's best players. Like Mane, he also wants around £400,000 a week, which is can say is the going rate for the player of his ability. But like Mane, Liverpool cannot afford to hand him such a deal because it would shatter their wage structure and have the likes of Van Dijk, Thiago Alcantara and Alisson knocking on their door, wanting similar pay rises. That is why they reluctantly sold Mane to Bayern Munich for £35.1 million, where he will reportedly earn £360,000 a week but only after they had landed a newness from Benfica for a potential club record £85 million. Nunes suddenly gives Liverpool leverage in their contracts with Salah and in a sense, they have already replaced him and money with the Uruguayan and Luis Diaz. There is no longer a feeling of Armageddon if Liverpool do not agree a deal to keep Salah. Diaz should hopefully continue the rapid progress he has made since arriving in January, while Nunes has already shown he can replace Salah's goal for Liverpool. At 22, he is also the perfect age when compared to 30-somethings Mane, Salah and Roberto Firmino. As hard as it is to contemplate for Liverpool fans, the club had to start replacing this fabled front three at some point because they were aging together. That process began in earnest last week with the signing of Nunes and then the sale of money 72 hours later. Salah has said he will definitely stay next season, ruling out a cut price exit like Manes this summer. He may well feel that strengthens his bargaining positions because it gives Liverpool just six months to pay him what he wants before he is free to start talking to foreign signs in January about a Bosman move. But Liverpool have shown by their actions of the last seven days that they are unlikely to blink. They will not go beyond their limits and will offer Salah what they feel they can afford to pay him. And if he continues to say no, they will feel that £64 million they paid up front for Nunez is a better long-term investment.